And now one organization who is disciplining themselves both on and off the court is the Ohio Eagles. It's a local homeschool sports association that offers competitive basketball and volleyball. Now last weekend, the Eagles varsity and junior high volleyball teams competed in the Midwest Volleyball Championship, the second largest homeschool volleyball tournament in the United States. Jennifer was there and has more. Eight courts, 72 games, more than 432 volleyball players, and thousands of bumps, sets, and spikes. That's what could be found at day one of the Midwest Volleyball Championship in Fort Wayne, Indiana, the second largest homeschool volleyball tournament in the country. That's right, every one of these players are educated at home, an educational option continually growing in popularity in the United States. And just as that educational option grows, so do extracurricular opportunities for homeschooled students. So, uh, homeschoolers do play very competitive volleyball. Um, homeschoolers as, as a group, um, we have a lot of, uh, there are obviously a lot of Christians um, that homeschool. I think probably the population is a little bit higher uh, Christian, but they're not all Christians here. These are not all Christian homeschool organizations. Um, so we get a wide variety of, of girls here. That wide variety included teams from Indiana, Kentucky, Michigan, Ohio, and even as far as Wisconsin and Missouri. Friday we do pool play all day and we structure it so that way on Saturday um, the, the more competitive teams play in one bracket and the less competitive teams play in another bracket. So what that gives us on Saturday is we usually have pretty good level of competition throughout. Um, it's just the, the gold bracket would be all of your really, really highly competitive teams. Uh, but even the bronze bracket, which are teams that finished in the lower third of the day, uh, because they're playing against all other teams that finished in the lower third, that tends to be a very competitive bracket as well. By Saturday, the host team, Fort Wayne Falcons, found both their varsity and junior varsity teams seated near the top in their respective gold divisions. Northwest Ohio was well represented too, with the Ohio Eagles, whose home court is in Herod, Ohio. The Eagles Junior High started day two at the top of the gold division with the varsity competing in the silver. It just, this is a learning year, like I had said before. It's a learning year and I'm looking forward to see how we do in this tournament this year because of how far we've come. For the Ohio Eagles Junior High, that how far ended up at the top, winners of the Junior High Gold Division. Both Fort Wayne teams finished second, but featured three players in the first all-tournament team. 17-year-old Kayla Rimchisel was one of them. I really appreciate like the relationships that I've made through it, and um, I appreciate that like even though it's a homeschool team, they're really like skill-based, and they focus a lot on uh, training you in good volleyball. And um, I appreciate that our coaches focus a lot too on char character building, and. So we have devotions before practice and we uh, pray a lot together as a team and our coaches just really focus on, uh, they want you to be like built up as a person and uh, as your character, not just on the volleyball court. Which brings us to the bigger picture of these homeschooled volleyball teams. They combine athletic skill, team building, character traits and family commitment. Simon agreed to head up the Midwest Volleyball Championship because his three daughters play. The Ohio Eagles coaches, both varsity and junior high, are parents with players in the organization. I enjoy having my dad as my coach. Um, it has helped with our bond as well as like me and my sister. So it's been a lot of fun doing that under him. Kylie Reynolds plays with her sister Kenzie, but says every player on the team is like a sister to her, a sentiment shared by many. Um, I just love the friendships that you build and being able to um, spend time with all the people and play volleyball competitively. I really enjoy, like I look forward to coming to each practice because they're, they're always so encouraging and we all connect really well. Sports is like my favorite thing to do. It's the one thing I'm going to miss the most after I graduate. So it's nice to be homeschooled but still get to play. Being homeschooled it's encouraging because then you know like being on a competitive team there's a, a higher chance that you'll be able to play in college so I like that a lot. The 2017 Midwest Volleyball Championship planning is already underway. For more information, visit Midwest Volleyball Championship on Facebook or email fwfalcons at gmail.com.